Alright. Three and two. We beat Orcs, Prophecy Battle Mage, and uh, Control Mage. And we have lost to uh, Monk mid-range type thing and um, Crusader aggro. And Ghost King won the Prophet playing Battle Mage is our opponent this time. Keep through an Archaeologist. Hand doesn't look great. We need the right tools. We have all the tools in the deck to win this matchup. Let's see if we draw them. It'd be cool if I had the ring. I do not. We want to draw any number of executes, firebolts, harpies, uh, archaeologists, tower alchemists, and hive defenders at this point, I think. Okay. So it's not ideal to start playing your creatures on turn three <laughs> against Prophecy Battle Mage, but we will do what like we can. Rehad Horseman. So at least it's Item Battle Mage, which is a little more interesting just going to pass the turn. If he has the Sentinel Battle Mace, uh, we're in bad shape. Blood Mighty ally, okay. Their it triggers, so our Tower Alchemist will just get eaten. But we're on the cusp we gotta of play a major something. Discovery. Gotta get, gotta slow him down at all, if at all possible. And now let's see if he has the Sentinel Battle Mace. Some well-timed prophecies could pull us into this. Um, any of them. Any of them at all. <laughs> they are uh, Javelin, uh, Lightning Bolt, Illusionist, and Harpy. Not running a ton of prophecies, but we have some. Let's face. I destroy that. I know he could be playing the Battle Mace right now. I, I get that. But we can still deal with it with the uh, Lightning Bolt. Yep, there you go. Blood and face. Just goes face. Clatter solution. A little distraction might prove useful. And an undying dragon. Okay. So and there's that triggers I that. Know just which is what nice. to do with this. Um I'm actually gonna play I'm gonna do this. I'm just gonna trade my dudes in. By all the powers of the eight. There's no prize for no. Oh. My We have a lightning bolt to hopefully deal with something. We're going to gain two life a turn for at least a little while. I used to be an adventurer. Camorn like hero. You. I keep a spare blade in my Crown quartermaster. Okay, seems good so far. There's Javelin. We will keep the Javelin. Lightning Bolt, this guy. Uh, I guess swing. Um, I'd like to be able to get Undying Dragon down. Steel Dagger. Stone Throw. Okay. Um, Yeah, I should not have played. <laughs> should not have played it like that at all. Uh, so many of the one-drop spells would have dealt with this that I should have uh, ordered my things differently. Do your work. Swings for three, and we're still turn off of Dawn's Wrath, unfortunately. The Nords must take back Skyrim. Fair enough. Um. A little distraction might be useful. So we have to javelin that. Um. Do I firebolt this or do I swing? I have a Dawn's Wrath available for next turn. So I'm going to moment of clarity. Um, 
Savage Tiger. Gain some life, swing. Yeah, I definitely took some unnecessary damage there. Orders? Yeah. No other play is good. Um, just gonna Dawn's Wrath. Pass the turn. A lit, sure. I'm gonna play on Dying Dragon and Firebolt that. Can he do 10 from hand? Let's play it safe. Let's just use one of those. And we got Manticora. Into the fray. Uh. -huh. Slap an item on it, man. Um, so let's go face. No prophecy. Just gonna Manticora to protect our Undying Dragon. 17. Coming up on Odiving. I am ready to join Circle the Initiate. I wonder what his hand is that he's not playing anything. Cauldron Keeper's awesome. I sell cures for all ills. Uh, thievery seems like a card we might want to play at some point. May the ancestors bless us. Pass turn. Dawn's wrath comes back. Sort of just on autopilot now. Give me a blade and a sword. here survivalist, absolutely. Steel dagger. Improvised weapon. It was a hand, just items. Oh! I'm gonna stone throw my dragon. And try to trigger a prophecy. Okay. We still have lethal. So let's do that. They'll be needing a pulse. Sweet. Alright. Beating up on Prophecy, Item Battle Mage, whatever kind of Battle Mage it is. <laughs> it's kind of why you belly this deck. Uh, we'll be right back for another one. Alright, we are back for our seventh game in our Lazy Sunday Support Mage Rumble. Uh, we're doing all right, having fun. I uh, I like these rumbles because even though you know it's it's definitely it's the antithesis of the traditional like online card game uh, tournament format, where where uh, you bring multiple decks. Um, I think it's a good way to well literally run your deck through a gauntlet, right? Find out what your deck's good at, what your deck's bad at, and uh, help you build a better deck for the next time you're getting on the ladder. I think it's a lot of fun. And uh, the Sport Mage deck's one that I've been really enjoying, so we'll see how we do now. Playing against Baker Thrive 5 with the Archer Avatar, and let's see what class they're rocking today. Archer's probably a reasonably bad matchup for us. Okay. They are running Archer. Uh, we will keep a Harpy and a Hive Defender. We're keeping Harpy because of uh, Goblin Skulk, and we're keeping Hive Defender. To slow down early aggression, this is Skulk or Ungolim, I assume. Maybe um, Brotherhood Slayer. Yeah, we'll just lay down an Elixir of Vitality. Uh, Unstoppable Rage Archer frequently runs the new orc, the 3 3 for 4 what that we hangs something, okay, or destroys something, uh, or destroys a support card. So that's something to keep in mind. I'm not going to harpy that. Even though I could follow it up with Hive Defender. I'll lead my family to glory. There's Astrid. So Astrid actually has to be Lightning Bolt. Because otherwise, as with all lethal creatures. Um, because otherwise, they can use Archer's Gambit to lane change it. And uh, ping your guys, get free kills and stuff like that. And we don't need him getting contracts. Okay, so now the fear is that this gets hit with a Leaf Lurker. But I think that's a lot better than... Well, we were staring down. 
if this is a market archer we're playing against, we don't have any support removal in the deck. Um, so that's definitely a possibility. If I fall, and here's the thing. Yep, so we knew we had the arch archer's gambit. Uh, next turn, I'm going to College of Winterhold. Rune Archaeologist, okay. Let's just get this going. Uh, take another Firebolt. And uh, I will Firebolt this now. Just that I don't have to <coughs> worry about it in the future as far as Archer's Gambit's and Unstoppable Rages go. There's Child of Hercene. Okay. So obviously we're not playing any creatures into that. Let's, um... Next turn he can't lane change and unstoppable rage, but he can definitely lane change kill this for free. But if he does that, then uh, it's damaged enough I'm for a lightning bolt to hit it. Which I think seems pretty good. Um, mm, these aren't great. I'll take Archer's game, but I guess. And uh, Mummify is, however, quite good. So I will pass the turn. Now this deck does also run. Belligerent Giant, which we may be about to see. Sanctuary Pet. And Archer's Gambit. So he had both Gambits, unfortunately. Okay, Ice Storm, not bad. Ruin Archaeologist. So can we just Ice Storm and not feel bad about ourselves? Um. Keep The problem is it keeps this in play, and then he just starts playing Cliff Racers, right? We don't really have anything else we can do. I guess we can mummify it. We're on the cusp of a major discovery. I'm just gonna play that over there. Because we have the Archer's Gambit. There's Belligerent Giant. We can Ice Storm Firebolt that then. Which seems okay to me. Love to draw a card here. There we go. We, do, we do get to draw an extra card, this. which is pretty nice. Excavate can be pretty good here. So let's ice storm firebolt. There's no prize for second place. Let's gain some life. So we can excavate back College of Winterhold right now. More likely is that we ice storm back. I'm sorry, we excavate back an elixir of vitality at some point. I think. Sure. If I fall. Sure. Okay, Shrieking Harpy. We can just Shrieking Harpy both these creatures. And if he unstoppable rages, like, I think that's okay. There's no prize for second place. Um, we'll keep our Tower Alchemist. Do we want to excavate back the college now? I mean, we are reaching a point where it might be useful. We can Tower Alchemist in college in the future. Yeah, let's do it. Let's just do it. I think next turn's Tower Alchemist into College of Winterhold into all of this is a pretty strong play, so. There's the Rage. That's cool. So one of these cards costs three or less, which is real good for us. Um, let's... By all the powers of the do this. Rapid shot. Well, we can rapid shot and Archer's Gambit something down. I like that a lot. So let's rapid shot this. Draw a card. Lightning Bolt's good. Let's gain our life. Let's Archer's Gambit. Ping this and swing into that. Nice and fancy. And we got two removal spells in hand. If I fall, the heat will reclaim me. So you got the last archer's gambit, okay. That's all you're putting on the board, I'm not super worried about it. Cauldron keeper's great. I sell cures for all ills. Let's moment of clarity. Um, Volendrunk's funny, but not what we're looking for. I think Elusive Schemer is a great draw. That seems good. 
Okay, let's just keep gaining some life. There's a Manticora. Alright. <clears throat> We're back up to 28. The Night Mother will guide us. There's Ungulum. Not excellent on turn 12. Sanctuary pet. Alright. Swings face. Let's start getting some schemers into our decks. Into our deck. Um. Check this out. Fireball. Best it's ever been. Gotcha. We're on the cusp of a major discovery. All right, and we are at 32. A handful of removal spells, and an unstoppable rage opponent probably unstoppably raging themselves right now. <laughs> yeah. Ice storm. Um, I pass turn. Rothgar Forge. Just give me oh, crap. <laughs> Alright, there's a loot. Okay, I did not see the Rothgar Forge coming, I have to admit to that. Uh, let's Manticora. So we could get a 5 drop. There's no 5 drop that there's would help no us here. For second <laughs> 5 cost spell. Edict of Azura at 3, at 4, I'm sorry, was what we would have wanted there. Okay. Or he can unstoppable rage right now too. Actually, instead we're a gonna cloud resolutionist. There's no prize for second place. So, how many lethal creatures does he have left? The nightmare bat. We basically have to kill every creature he plays, right? That's fine. That guy had kind of been as useful as he was gonna be. I'll take another javelin. Um. Yeah. Let's get a ten-ton undying dragon on board. Let's heat things up. We have up. nine damage in hand. That last card is a leaf worker. Oh. Okay. Well then, let's uh, let's do this. We are at 42. Yeah, Moonlight we're bad. Not, not gonna do it. Um. There's no prize for second place. My will be needing a poultice. There's no prize for second place. I have many important things in my mind. Rage Archer defeated. back for another one guys all right we're still hanging on five wins two losses we are moving to game number eight with support mage um so for those of you who are interested in building your own support mage i don't think mechanical heart is probably good enough to run um i really like the animation on it <laughs> looking at sander guiltily so that's why i play it uh but it just doesn't seem good enough yet. Our opponent is Jersey Tiger 96, the nimble playing uh, spell sword, which could be an awful matchup for us. I think we always keep Elixir of Vitality in our opening hand. Uh, at this point, you just hope it's tokens. <laughs> spell sword control, especially one that loops Parthenax and stuff like that, real, real bad, real bad. Uh, Rune Archaeologist has been a card that's impressed me quite a bit, though. I've enjoyed the addition of this card to the archetype. Uh, there's Manticora. You basically... You win these sorts of matchups by getting away with having your Orb of Vermina and your College of Winterhold out forever. <laughs> Otherwise, it's not... It doesn't look great. Okay, so it's Ramp Spell Sword. This might be the worst matchup we have. Um, We're on the cusp of a major we'll get this guy discovery. executed. <laughs> oh, man. Well, five wins is still pretty good. Still, still pretty good.
and the deck's fun to play, so it has that going for it. And you get an auto win basically against uh, Battle Mage, which is always satisfying. Devour. All right. Well. We're on the cusp of a major. Let's see if this one gets destroyed too. I forgot to play my Elixir Vitality because I was clicking off a little notification for an email. That's my bad, but that's what the play would have been. <laughs> Uh, here's a spine of Eldritch Blood, so the ramp, ramp game, game is strong here. It's very strong. We need to draw a card now to get any value at all. We did not, but we did draw a Piercing Javelin, which I think is fine. There's no prize for second place. I love that when this creature attacks, she says there's no prize for second place. Like, I get that. <laughs> uh, shake and bake. <laughs> And our opponent's already on Naha Gleave. So, let's draw a card, please. Please. Cauldron Keeper. Um. Yep. Oh, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? You attack against Aggro, and, uh. Your opponent ramps into Naha Gleave. <laughs> um. So maybe they don't have any Shadow from Priests or Edict of Azura, and we run a runner, draw some really useful cards. Or they play Dragon Cult Ghost. Also, always a possibility to just, just Ghost Face. There's Orbit Vermina, which is probably too late since he has 15 on board. Uh, but we actually don't have any other plays, so. Let's do it. Hive Defender. We'll gain what life we can. Past turn. It was a good run. It was a good run. <laughs> There's the edict. And now he slams his four. Oh, not he doesn't slam us for fifteen. Is someone out there? Midnight Snackerino. You die. Okay. Well, another execute. Not gonna do it. Um Ice Storm, I'm gonna do it. Get Hive Defender. Execute. Gain our pretty little life just so we don't die. We gotta get to a point where we can survive. Um, yeah. Kinda need him to swing like this so my Ice Storm kills this not I believe. <laughs> We're coming up on Manticora. He's got four. I mean, we have two more cards in him. Okay, that's bad for us. The waters of There's a tree minder. So, if we... Okay, he didn't swing. So we're gonna Ice Storm. And then we're gonna Ice Storm again next turn. <laughs> and he's gonna play Parthenax this turn, but that's alright. That is alright. Hopefully he just decides not to go for 15. Cinch Tiger, okay. Alright, I mean... This is as good as it gets. Uh, he's down to three cards. High Defender. Now we're on Manticora. What is he running? There's his Hive Defender. Press. That's okay, right? Like, he just gets a card out of his hand. Mechanical Heart's purpose in this matchup is to eat a removal spell. So I'm sure it'll do that. He's about to hit 15 Magicka. We can Manticora one of them. Has he ramped three times? Yeah, he has. He has ramped three times. Alright, well, we're gonna have to. No, no, I'm sorry, meant to core that, obviously. Okay. Um. I think this works out for us. Here come the. Here come the Leviathans. We have a Dawn's Wrath ready.
It's worth remembering that he is running suppress. We can do this. Cliff side lookout. Swing. Okay. Tower alchemist, good, good. By all the powers I just need to keep him off of that. I sell cures for all ills. Okay, we're back up to twenty seven. Just sacrificing this dude for virtually no value, but we do have this lane over here, and hopefully he dumps some guys over there, and we can Dawn's Wrath it. Figure out how to deal with this in a bit. Love to fabricate, I'm sorry, um, excavate back my Orb of Vermina. What is he holding on to? Execute, maybe? I need, I need cards. Suppress. That's good. That's good. That's totally good. Spine of Elder's Blood, more ramp. And one card that he's not playing. Is it a last suppress? Either way, Manticora is here. Alright, we leave him with a 6-6, six, six. so our board looks a lot better than his. We need College Winterhold, we need Gold Brand, we need him not to have support on the Midnight Snack. That's fine. He gets a free hit here, that's fine. He does not get another free hit, so we'll see if he swings again. I don't mind taking another hit at this point. Sure. Pass turn. So we have 30 cards, but we really only want to draw like two of them. <laughs> Iron Scale Dragon. Alright. Wow. All in on the dragons. We get another card, that's great. Um, I don't see any reason to play that. College of Winterhold. Not yet, though. A little distraction might be useful. Stand up, protect me. Because that has to be a support removal card. 100% has to be. We'll take another hit here. Next turn, Calder, College Winterhold, Cauldron Keeper. Okay. We'll go to nine, right? You make that swing. Oh, I need to know what card this is. It's not support removal. Unless it's Edict of Azura and he's thinking about edicting this because he thinks I have Firebolt. Oh man, we're going to lose as soon as he draws Parthenax, but we're doing a pretty good job of stabilizing at this point. <laughs> okay. Uh, excavate. Oh my god. Excavate Orb of Vermina. No, not yet. Wait, yes. Oh, we need 13 magic or 14 Magicka so badly. So here I'm gonna, here's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna bait this out. <laughs> Edict of Azor is funny. I don't think. I mean, I'm gonna encourage him to swing face. I think that's okay. He's. Karth Spire Scourges? Okay. Maybe I just dawns one. Okay. Well, this looks great. Divine Fervor. Oh, forgot to gain life. That's okay. Uh, <laughs> we'll be okay. Sandra's booing at me for my awful plays. Alright, we're almost there. Suppress. That was the last card. Uh, I get rid of Mechanical Heart for College of Winterhold. Right now. This makes more sense. I got Golden Saint. Oh crap. I got uh, fabricate. Yes. Sorcerer's negation. Yes. 
Fabricate, go. We need a 12 12 with guard or something like that. 10 10 works. Um, I'll take that. So, he's running Golden Saint, which actually is absolutely awful for us. Alright, it's another Iron Scale Dragon. <laughs> um, I'm going to Marack it, right? I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cards in hand. I'm gonna go to ten. Oh my god, he's running gold brand. Uh I'm gonna marack his thing. I'm at nine cards. I gained the life for max hand size reasons. My claws are sharp and Yeah, thirsty. venom tongue, okay. I can so next turn I can gold brand Cloud Resolutionist. A little distraction might prove useful. And excavate, yes. Oh god. Tander, we're going off. This is how, oh, control on control matchups are so much fun. Undying Dragon. What do I have for that? I got Goldbrand on four. I got Divine Fervor, which I kind of want to play. Memory Wraith? Oh. Just in case. <laughs> um, hmm. Actually, I don't have that many exciting options. I could just go face for. I mean, can I go face low enough to trigger Golden Saint and then not turn around and lose? I think we just Sorcerer's Negation this. Just swing into it. Play Custom Fabric. Okay. The Dark Brotherhood is a pox, and I shall cure it. Alright. We're, we're saving Edict for a Hist Grove. Piercing Javelin's great here. We'll trigger on the memory right? Get rid of all stuff. We have Lethal on board. Next turn we'll activate College Winter, we'll play Divine Fervor. Okay. So... Warcry seems best here. Play that. Go for 11. If he javelins this, we can still win with Warcry. Sandra is watching the Avengers trailer. We went and saw Justice League last night. It was not awesome. They'll be needing a poison. There we go. We beat Dragon Ramp Spell Sword. We will, eh, we will be right back for another one. Alright. Game 9. One win or three losses, or some combination, combination of those is what we have left. Uh, had a couple opportunities in this run to play my favorite kind of games, which are just real grindy games uh, where it's back and forth and you're struggling to control the board. Saw something kind of like that in the Mage Mirror, and we just saw something like that in the uh, game against the Scout. I'm sorry, against the Spell Sword. Uh, Cruise in your mom 666 is our opponent. I <laughs> uh, will keep a Cloud Disillusionist so I have something to do. Hand looks bad. I assume this is an aggro deck, or I mean, it's either a mid range, aggressive mid range deck, or it's a ramp, uh, unstoppable rage deck. We'll see if they have the turn one goblin skulk, and uh, we'll go from there. No play, so it says to me rage or potentially market archer. 
If I fall, okay. Didn't play that earlier, which is interesting. Um, just gonna firebolt that. We saw in the last matchup against Archer how powerful Archer's Gambit can be against our bigger, clunkier creatures when they have those kinds of creatures on the board. Graybeard Mentor. Wow. So we need to be aware that our creatures might be getting bounced to our hand. We have the Ice Storm in hand, though, so I think we're pretty solid for now. Don't need to lay down my Cloudless Illusionist. See if they have the Dothraki Archer or whatever that guy is. Speaking of Dothraki, we just saw Justice League. <laughs> uh, yeah. If we, having him expend some resources to deal with our Undying Dragon seems okay. Unless he runs Fell the Mighty, in which case he just gets the one for one, which is a little disappointing. We will pass turn. We would like to have more resources than our opponent. The combination of Greybeard Mentor and lack of early plays says that we have a little bit more time than we might ordinarily against an archer deck as the mechanical heart. My arrows shall fly true. But he's also running Sharpshooter Scout, huh? <laughs> Alright. Well, we'll play the mechanical heart. And we'll pass the turn. Get that cool animation on our get that cool uh, lock on our guy here. See if we can't get some ice storm value. Maybe he plays uh plays word wall. So I don't know how influential his shouts can be against us. He goes ahead and swings. There's Cauldron Keeper. Doesn't play anything. Uh, so Dawn's Wrath means that we can just Ice Storm and not feel bad about it. So what's his 9 drop? If he just plays Tazcat, I think that's actually like the worst thing to happen to us. There it is. <laughs> Alright, so we will Manticore that. Okay, and then he bounces our Manticora. I am going to start gaining some life, even though if he bounces this and swings, we won't draw a card now, just because I... First of all, I'm not really clear what he's doing. We must protect our stronghold. There's the archer for my life game. Nope, for the heart. And he's going to leaf lurker, my dude. Okay. Um... Ice Storm. I have Defender. Go ahead and trigger this next turn. Hopefully we can drop down Cauldron Keeper and Tower Alchemist all in the right lane. Just hoping it's not a Rage deck we're playing against. <laughs> and then trigger this twice. But instead looks like he's going to finish this guy off again too. Alright. Well, we're sort of running him out of resources. There's Excavate. We can bring back our heart. Alright, so let's Cauldron Keeper, Tower Alchemist, Ruin Archaeologist, gain some life. Our hand is pretty stacked. Let's say he Snake Tooth Necklace rages on this thing. Like we go to 2 9. And then uh, he hasn't done much else this turn, and we can lightning bolt that. Drain Vitality. Okay. And another Drain Vitality. Okay. Curse. As long as he doesn't connect for four, like, we're fine, right? He's just plummeting, running out of resources. Thieves, then. Okay. Not playing those last cards. So what does that mean? That means to me... Well, to me that means... We can trigger both these, by the way, next turn with Excavate. To me that means that he's playing... 
he, the cards in his hand are cliff raisers. Bondar, curse you! Valenwood Huntsman. Hanging face. No. Valenwood protects us. Felonistry Reaver. Wow. Okay. So we can excavate back the thing. He's got one card left in hand. I know just what to do with this. Okay. I know just what to do with this. Dawn's Wrath. There's no prize for second place. I don't think we can die. The forest is more. Leaf worker's fine. That was great for us. Uh, yeah, I'm going to. I'm just gonna kill his creatures. We've got one card left in hand. Mechanical heart. Ah, do your thing. We have tons of answers in our hand. Let's see what happens. Uh, we will play the mechanical heart. We will play hive defender. Okay. Chara's breeding fit. Oh my god. Oh my god. And the last finish off. No, Murkwater Ridge. Okay. Um. Alright. Iron's good. It's possible to say what it gives us back, but. May the ancestors bless okay. us. Javelin. That works for me. If he's able to remove this and go face for five, that's okay. I think with the heart up, we're pretty Observe. solid. More shouts. Alright, are they just all green shouts? That's all we've seen. Sure. Territorial Viper. That's it. That's all he has. Just that shout now. Okay. Emery Wraitham. Just a good 5-5 five, five body. He can give it minus 2, minus 2. I guess if the last card in his hand is Reaver or... Something like that. He can do something My with it. Arrow shall fly true. Nope. Last card in his hand is a shout. Some, some cool synergy. That's a great draw. By all the powers of the eight. A little distraction might be useful. Okay. I think we're stabilized. So this is a shout. We've only seen green shouts. Oh, we don't know what his discard piles anymore because we we banished it. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That's not the one I care about. <laughs> I think having the guard creature is more okay. Perfect. And Kano. Uh. No, we're doing nothing this turn. We're doing nothing. And we're going to continue doing nothing for a while. <laughs> if I fall, the heat. Alright, well, we will encounter that. Because I want this guy alive. I have many important things on my mind. Alright, we're getting four turn. We have Marak, Javelin, and Dawn's Wrath in our hand. Which is pretty good. It has been my honor. Yeah, good game, bro. <laughs> By the egg, a fine battle. I'm gonna mrack that. You cannot hope to run destiny. Start generating some curses. So it's only a matter <laughs> it's only a matter of time before he draws a sure point dragon. We just pass, we're at twenty-eight. 
This is the th this is a soft lock that you're looking for with this deck. Bonda, curse you. Okay, so we're not cursing things anymore, but we have just enough curses to deal with this. Nurture our tower alchemist to keep that guy alive because he's providing us uh, some pretty insane value. They dare face the blade, Oh no! I wonder who you kill with this. Cause like the answer, it should be tower alchemist, right? Uh, Firebolt to create draw. We're gonna draw our library first. Seventeen, twenty-one. We will actually. So we actually do have to kill him. We can't just play to fatigue. By your command. Okay, I made a core of this. And we need to get on with actually winning. <laughs> a lightning bolt that I assume. Yeah. Let's make sure we don't miss lethal fourteen. 1520 is what we have access to. No, for sure. This gives us 12. Solrus Marshall. Been a long time since I've seen this. Doesn't trigger. Oh, for grief. Cloud Rest Illusionist. A little distraction might prove useful. Okay, we have ten fourteen on board, four in hand. Oh, no, we don't have lethal. There's sure point dragons. Or is our endless life gain over? Oh no, we're we're only at 58. Uh, <laughs> that's a pretty good draw. I think we just keep pushing. I don't know how we lose at this point. I I take that back. We could lose to Unstoppable Rage plus Creature plus Snake Tooth Necklace. Like at least get him back enough into the game where we didn't have a way to regain control of the board. So let's see if he does that. My sword hand itches. That's not gonna do it. That's not gonna do it. The forest will not suffer your presence. Uh it doesn't work the way you think it does. <laughs> Alright. A little distraction might prove you behold my power. <laughs> Good game, man. That's pretty solid. Pretty solid. Cruising in your mom. Excellent name. 666, actually. Added on top of there. Because it wasn't enough that he was sleeping with my mother. He also had to you know, make sure we understood that he worshipped Satan. 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 <laughs> Alright, right, guys. We are back for another game. Sandra is watching... Uh, what, how would you describe it? A video called Living with Jigsaw. Where a little jigsaw puppet from the what are those movies called? The Saw movies talks about razor blades. <laughs> it's good times. We are seven and two with our full and well, I mean we're not as anti aggro as we could be, right? Like we're not running Firestorm. <laughs> we could. Augie Goody with the Sorcerer Avatar as our opponent in this round, and they are playing what now? Crusader. Okay. We lost to Crusader earlier. We don't have the ring. We're keeping Execute. Okay, double Execute and Cloud Resolution is just alright. I mean, f the Firebolt is a lot better in this matchup, but I will... I'll make it work. I'll try to make it work. I have to qualify that. This is a really strong deck. Really strong deck. Pass turn. So we need to see not Rift Thane. Thane's how we lose. I am ready to join yep. the circle. All day. All day. Memory Wraith, uh, that's a 5-5. Five five. That's that is, that's its role in this matchup. <laughs> um 
Now we need them to play the 4 2. No, Ooh, something gone. else I can execute. You got it, man. We're being spectated by Cool T. Uh, Nicely done. Thanks, bro. We'll hold no matter what. The no, the no value East Marsh Crusader. A little distraction. Just playing that to contest it. I want to save Lightning Bolt for his um, card draw engine. We're going to take a turn off probably sometime soon to play College of Winterhold. Just Javelin's my guy. Um, can I get away with just playing College of Winterhold? Now I'm going to play Memory Wraith. If he draws another card here, you know, it is what it is. Um, we can trade favorably with our Memory Wraith. And uh, having more cards in our hand is good too. So, Debatably better than it is for him. Let's see what his move is here. Chimera, guide us. Divine fervor. And in face. Don't make me laugh. Okay. That's cool because now I can College of Winterhold without shame. I got talk. I got talk. Uh, rapid shot and swing. So, what are we afraid of? Well, um. I like our odds. Tears pretty good against this. Everything's pretty good against this for Divine Fervor. Uh, I can rapid shot lightning bolt though, which I think is better than using piercing javelin. Sorcerer's negation seems like the best call here. We have the mechanical heart. Any ice storm value we can get, we're gonna pull the trigger on. Close ranks. Let nothing through. Yeah. Man, I, I just said I'd use any Ice Storm value, right? But this is the saddest Ice Storm ever. This, the absolute saddest Ice Storm ever. It's going to Lightning Bolt it. So we don't want to see Golden Saint. We definitely don't want to see Golden Saint. The Nords must take back sure, we got to break rune to do that. Sorcerer's Negation on this is going to be the greatest thing I've ever done. Gives us a turn to develop the mechanical heart. And now we're on Manticora. No play. Undying Dragon it is. Alright. Let's get some Undying Dragon action in there. Manticora into Odaving. I'm what, taking uh, all myself. Ulfric Zealot. To. Do we care about Ulfric Zealot? So I could orb now, get that engine going, or I could Manticora. Let's get a swing in, see if that changes anything. Maybe I just. Ice Storm, if I can hit whatever this is. Yep. Seems good. Now we're heading life, which is good. We have Odaving. We have Orb for extra value. Although, what we're going to do with the cards in his deck is sort of a mystery. Training is over. Okay. It's time to act. My arrows shall fly true. Ooh, double sharpshooter scout. There's a way to kill that. Burn and pillage for one. <laughs> I'd like to introduce you to my good friend Odaving. Your storm is no match for mine. Seems good. Seems real good. What do we want to do? I want to play Hive Defender and Orb of Vermina next turn so I can start getting my orb value. Seems good. Oh my god, really Dawnstar Healer? <laughs> Nicely done. Thank you. My thanks is yours. 
Seems good, man. We've already used one lightning. Two. Well, we've already used two lightning bolts, so we have almost no reach in our deck. I might be able to steal some charge creatures from him. I really would love to draw one of our support matters guys, like Cauldron Keeper. There we go. I sell cures for all ills. What do you got? Ulfric's house, Carl. Oh, this isn't even fair. We'll rebuild Skyrim. I've got the land she no! wants. For sure! Alright, let's draw two cards, gain six life. Who's the uh card who's the deck that draws too many cards now, my friend? <laughs> Close ranks, let nothing through. Got it. Um, we have eight cards in hand, so we can trigger this once. Desperate Conjuring is the funniest of these cards. Not the best, though. Lethal and Ward. I guess Unrelenting Force is most likely to actually give us value. Yep. So when you put this engine in an actual control deck, uh, <laughs> things look good. Things look real good, man. Yeah. I'm just going to kill Odeving. That works. The guy's, <laughs> guy's definitely been working out. <laughs> You're not gonna stun oh, that guy. Wouldn't you have survived combat then? Okay, so we have lethal with lightning bolt. We can bounce. Mm, well, nothing. He's actually playing. This herd needs okay. thinning. Uh, let's do it. Don't mess with me. This is a creature he probably wants to kill the most, so we'll swing with it first. My arrows shall fly true. Yeah, that's not gonna do it. They'll be needed to pull. Good game, man. We are at 34 life. Oda flew too high for that boulder. <laughs> this game. <laughs> yeah, cool T wrote, Oda flew too high for that boulder. Yeah. Alright, that was pretty good. So we're on to the finals, right? We have one win or one loss. Whatever happens next, we are done with our run. So, we'll be right back to see how it goes. We're probably going to lose. <laughs> All right, eight and two, final game. Uh, for my first rumble of the weekend, probably the only one I'm going to have time, time to do. Our opponent is Wiz077 with the Battle Mage avatar. Their name is The Defiant. Cool T, friend of mine, says, let's rock, good luck. And let's roll. Uh, we're playing a spell sword. Oh no! <laughs> Hopefully, it's spell sword tokens. That's all I gotta say because I have to work so goddamn hard to beat spell sword control. <laughs> I just want my nine wins, man. That's all I want. That's all I want, man. Come on, ring out a fifth legion trainer. Just one time. Just one time. Hmm. This is the the first turn pause here is the move the opponents make when they search for me on Twitch to see if they can snipe me. The moons give this one oh. strength. Actually, I don't have a way to deal with this. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> the top decks. Shake and bake. <laughs> Uh, do we just start Tower Alchemist like crazy because we're assuming it's an aggro deck? By all the powers of the I think we do. I think we do. We have Defender into their Imperial Reinforcements. Hopefully I'm not totally wrong about what we're playing against. Stendar protects me. Maybe they run <laughs> Descendant of Alkosh in their aggro deck. I'm sorry, in their control deck, and I'm just the worst player ever. You must be cleansed. Okay. I mean, there's another Tower Alchemist. 
Stendard, protect me. Just gonna pass the turn. Let him overextend a little bit into this lane, maybe Dawn's Wrath it away. Because I apparently don't know what's happening here. This is a ramp deck that runs Descendant Valkar. Mother of mine. Well, that requires a recalibration of my strategy since my opponent is playing a ramp deck. Uh, I'm gonna pass the turn. I just, uh, I mean, I feel like I 100% made the move that you should make in that situation. But I'm gonna get punished for it like crazy. For gaining that extra life here at the beginning. I am sworn to protect you. There's Lydia. Alright, so we have two Dawn's Wraths. We can play both of these next to this turn. The of a Hopefully draw discovery. a card. Okay, and Dawn's Wrath away this lane. Maybe he overextends into that, but I don't know what's happening anymore. I, I, I have to admit, like I got way too excited considering what uh, is actually happening here. Maybe he Dawn's Wraths me and I just get the old okie doke. I will keep Sotha Sil's people alive. Gale okay, the Shelterer. I don't get to see what it shuffles in. It's this card though, right? Because he was hovering over it before he played it. We fight for all it's Hafinger Marauder. Alright. Draw his card. A little distraction might be useful. Well, if this doesn't just like totally telegraph my play to him, I don't know what does. Uh huh. There's Goldbrand. Okay, so yeah, Dawn's Wrath. There's no prize for second place. <clears throat> Get gold brand online sooner rather than later. I just I would like. Black Orc Dragon. I have Defender. Repel the Outlanders. So I'd like to draw a card. There's Iron. What does Iron give me back? Firebolt, which I don't want. And Dawn's Wrath. Behold my I will gain a little life. We gotta go deep against him. He's running ramp. We haven't seen any Hiscroves. We've only seen one ramp card, actually. I can hopefully gold brand this next turn. Put that in my hand, since I already have a plan for dealing with that. Hail Alduin! 10 10 Dragon Ball Ghost. So we do trigger this to turn before we suicide this. it. There's no prize for second place. Okay. Three. Soul tears back, what? Doesn't matter, I'm gonna tower alchemist, right? Can't have more than six. Unless it's I take that back, it could be... It could be that he brings back Dragon Cult Ghost. I smell the stench Barrow of the living. Dark Brotherhood is a pox, Black Dragon. And I shall cure it. So I can... There's the Hist Grove. So his last card is the Ghost. So I need to... Ice Storm... Lightning Bolt. <laughs> Last card's Ghost. He's only ramped twice, correct? We play the Dragon Cult Ghost. I have to get lucky, basically. Another Soul Tear. Spine of Elder's Blood. So there's the last ramp. It's an 8-8, so I can Tower Alchemist, Lightning Bolt. Edict. 
protected. Let's play iron first. May the ancestors bless us. Firebolt. By all the powers of the eight. A little distraction might be useful. Okay, this answers everything but the Dragon Club Ghost. There's the Dragon Call Ghost. Okay, so I need an answer. Um, Orb of Vermina. College of Winterhold, the only answer I can get right now is either Rapid Shot into something better, or Shackling it, or Fabricating into a Guard Creature, or Blackmailing into a Guard Creature. This, I guess, is more likely to get me something. We did not get a guard creature. That sucks. So we're going to go to two. My power. History shall remember this day. Stendard, protect me. All right, we're going to. We can kill this thing next turn. You must be cleansed. Or not. Here goes my gold brand. Do I have an answer here? Oh, thank God. Thank God. Okay, I can cloud rest execute this. I've got you covered. Dawnstar Healer. Alright, that kills me. Well, it puts me to one if I don't kill it. Manticora, I need to get Orb online, though. Stole his Manticora. A little distraction might be useful. I got talk. Take a night to remember, and I will go to one. Okay. No Dawnbreaker top deck, please. We should be able to stabilize Don't here. Miss. Taste my steel. Yeah, East Empire Crafter's gonna die. I got I smell the stench of the living. Okay, we're at three. We've sort of stabilized. We're going to excavate back our gold brand for more continuous Absolutely. removal. I will swing into that without any guilt whatsoever. Ready, sir. That Dawn's Wrath. Wrong place for a midnight stroll. Swing like that because I'm not gonna go face. I'm not giving him more than one card a turn. Right now I think we can answer anything. Uh there goes one of my Manticoras, that's fine. I can gold brand swing into it. I need to play some cards. Behold my I got talk. Winter's grass. So much work yet to do. Okay, we're just gonna set up a one turn lethal. I mean, we're drawing three cards a turn to his not one. There's not how to leave. We only do six to that, so we got to sacrifice one of our friends.
Um, actually. So much work yet to do. There's his Marak. I got talk. We never playing any of these, but. Cards out of my hand. All right. So emulating blast to be bad, but he's on one card a turn. Like we have dominated this game. Sure, man. You got it. Do we want to just Ancano his face? We kind of have to play stuff. I have Ready many thanks. important things on my mind. Ready, Brings us up to eight cards. This can give us a seven drop action. I don't are there any? That was fought well. I've got you covered. Let's do this. Javelin my ten three. It's just eight cards in hand. And our opponent concedes. Nine wins. Sanders says, woo, high five. Awesome. There we go. Rock and roll. Let's get some rewards. Not the fastest way to do the gauntlet, because it is like the slowest deck in the game, but that's how you beat Spellsword Control. It's exactly what I said last time when I actually knew I was playing Spellsword Control. You just try to achieve infinite value. An excavate, by the way, was great there. All right, we got. What is this? I, I have rewards I don't understand. Oh, it's a premium card. No, it's just a legendary. Well, it's Ancano, So what are you gonna do? We'll open my packs. Praetorian commanders or rare and an epic. It's pretty solid. Another rare and an epic spell sword summoning, one of my favorite cards in this set. A shiny Greybeard Mentor. Thank you guys very much for joining me. I will see you all on the ladder. Bye-bye.